Local leaders and community members met with government officials today to discuss the upcoming release of the final environmental impact statement for the military buildup. The focus of today's meeting was the military's intent to use pocket lands as a firing range facility. While local attendees hope to gain more insight and clarity into the military's plans for the island, many left with even more uncertainty and doubts than before. We're not just not sure. I think there's a there's still a big distrust uh, in this whole process um, because you know we did voice some of the concerns in the draft EIS process. This is not too far from what they had initially proposed. Military officials stress that they need pocket lands. However, they have yet to provide specific details as to how it may negatively impact the surrounding areas, like Marble Cave here. The CEQ regulation section 1502.14 states that they must rigorously explore and objectively evaluate all reasonable alternatives and include the alternative of no action. And in there, they must present the impacts of the proposal and the alternatives in comparative form, thus sharply defining the issues and providing us clear basis for their choice. And we have yet to see that. Local leaders also expressed concerns about the military's lack of information regarding the buildup. Some even questioned the military's need for pocket, as the federal government already has sufficient amounts of land. What they said was they, they looked at a number of different sites, um, and I think that what they were doing was they were looking at a number of different sites in totality. Uh, you know, putting everything all in that one site as, as they want to do in, in pocket. I firmly believe that, uh, that they have enough uh, land already that exists within their footprint. If they break up these ranges, you know, in, into different ranges, they can put it into the into land that they already own. Pocket residents and property owners fear they may lose their lands to the military, the same way that Tijin land was acquired by the government to build NAS. Today's meeting raised far more questions than it answered. What will happen to the land surrounding Pocket? How will the military acquire these lands? And most importantly, how does this impact the entire island? The only thing for certain is that the island remains in a state of tension until these answers can be clearly provided. Keeping it local for Guam News Watch, I'm Chris Pinko.